Old man uh, gamer, what's up? How you knowing? Yeah, hey, but don't you freeze whenever it's like having to be Fermanic? Yep. I'm kind of cold right now. Wow. What's that like? I got shorts and I got like a pullover on. I'm cold. It's it is uh, 68 degrees in my house and I have a blanket over top of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you say 68 degrees in your house? Yep. Hold on. Is that what your thermostat set at? Yep. The only time I see 68 degrees is in the winter time. That's what our heat is set on in the house. <laughs> That's the, the only time Zach sees 68 is when it's winter and the, the power goes out. Oh no, I uh, I turn the heat up to 72 in the winter. Wow. Like, I'm not, not a big fan of the cold. My mom probably won't like me telling the story, but like, my dad works outside in the heat all day, right? Well, he doesn't really like, like, obviously, it's different for him and my, my mom. So like, whenever he's gone, like, mom turns it down, but then we have to turn it back up before dad gets home. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, peach cobbler. Actually, I've had those before. They're kind of nasty. Peach cobbler pop tarts, and I love me some peach cobbler. They're kind of nasty, though. Actually, like for reals, they're not good. We got lemon groove pink lemonade pop tarts. Ew. Ew. It's amazing the pop tart flavors they have now. It's actually insane. Uh, the old red, white, and blueberry pop tart. Red, white, and blueberry. Freedom, baby. Um, hello. Hang on. Waiting on you, boss. <laughs> I was just gonna pick a random pass and like, you know, hit that button. Let's do it too. I didn't, I didn't count like you did last field, you know. I'm not I'm not a professional farmer, sorry. Fine. Oh, isn't that just me? I just wanna stand up and salute the flag <laughs> right now. Proud to be an American right there, Tony. Man. I'm assuming that's an American thing. I'll never see that here. <laughs> they just removed the blue sprinkles for you, Tom. There, uh, Phil. Man, where can I get this at? So, so, uh, so where am I? I think I'm at the. Hey, Wally Walmart. Road has it. Really? Wally Road has pop tarts? No shot. Okay, no, I this this kind of pop tarts. I heard John talk about this. I saw it on TikTok as an ad. What's this Walmart Plus thing? Walmart Plus? Yeah. Uh, basically, it's you order Walmart and it's delivered to your door. Really? Yeah. Kind of lit. But you don't pay, you pay like a monthly subscription, but you don't pay any more uh, for like your stuff. So it's like if you use like DoorDash or like Grubhub, they keep bring you stuff like that, they charge you like through the nose. Uh, oh. Man, I guess I'll never know what that's like. And a scene with a bomb pop. Yes, absolutely. And then actually I've heard, I don't know what it's called, but, and I don't think it's everywhere. But Walmart actually has a service for like disabled or like elderly people where yeah. they will literally come in your house and put your groceries away for you. That's really cool. And I was like, that's cool to help out like people that need that kind of help, you know? Uh-huh. So, yeah. Anyway, one of these days I might get Walmart Plus. because I think that would actually help me as far as wanting to cook. If I could see like a TikTok recipe and then just go like buy all the stuff through like, you know, the app right away or put it on a list so it comes like in, you know, two days or something. And then I can be like, hey, I want to make that. I think that could actually help my like cooking dilemma quite a bit. If that makes any sense at all to anybody, but it does to me. Yeah, because like if you see something, but then you're like, oh, I don't have like a cream yeah, of something. I don't, I don't have like half the stuff, then I can just put it on a list. Well, yeah. you guys like shop once a week? Yeah. Dad, uh, Dad goes to the grocery store quite a bit, but he basically goes for like donuts and, you know. Ice yeah, cream. Pretty much. You'll give into the YouTube ads and get. Hey, if you're going to sign up for that, I'll do a sponsored stream for it there first time. There's sponsored stream opportunities for them, okay? I'm just saying. I can I can claim one. I'm not going to, chat. It doesn't fit with my channel at all. Bro, I'll cook everything live at the farm with just a barbecue pit and a, and a side burner. How about that? 
There's my cooking streams. I just do it from the farm. <laughs> oh man, great idea. Five head. Five head idea. Just saying. I'm here for it. But I think I think that would actually really like really help my cooking issue. Yeah. We're harvesting food right now. We are. Yeah. Hey, cook. No cooking stream for me. No, no, no. That would be funny though to do it from the farm. That would be funny. I don't even know, to be honest, right now. Uh, to be perfectly honest with y'all, chat, I don't know if we're having a pumpkin day this year. Really? Yep. Not bad, huh? Our pumpkins look horrendous. Yeah, Puma burgers, like Mr. Beast burgers. Let's go. Uh, yeah, it's it's looking real bad. Oh, uh, Dad was kind of talking the other day that maybe we just throw in, throw in the towel and quit trying to have them even. Like, I was like, let's break the disc out and disc them up, you know? If I had my plow going, I'd really push for it, but... <laughs> oh, not, another reason why to get your tractor done. It's, it's not my plow. It's Dad's plow. My tractor. Yeah. Oh, and I, I definitely, uh, I drove past that guy's house. Yeah, I know what guy you're talking about now. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, it really stands out once you know what you're looking for, doesn't it? Uh huh. Yeah. That's funny. I'm sure you drive past there quite a bit, actually, don't you? It depends. It like. Uh, way well, yeah. out of their way. No, it's right where you're at. Sometimes, yeah, I go like I go that way spraying sometimes. Then if I don't want to go home that way, I'll go home. I uh, in hands with Puma. I like it. Hot dogs and bag tater chips. Uh, Troy. <laughs> I don't know about hot dogs. I I had one like six months ago, and it was disgusting, so I haven't had one since. Wait, is that how you spell voila? I don't know. What? That's voila. Oh, I'm dumb. It's actually a French word is pronounced voila. <laughs> Biggest bully you have three pumpkins the size of softballs? Nice. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think even if what's there, like, stops dying and, like, they all set on what they're supposed to, like, the amount of pumpkins that we would have would be so, like, just, just not enough. Not enough to go around for the people that we normally have, you know? So. Yeah. Even the pumpkins near uh, me, the ones that we grow, are not that big as usual. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, the guy towards town that grows pumpkins, and, of course, he doesn't really grow to, like, actually produce them he hauls them in like the cell but even his plants like here re lately really turn in yellow and just look terrible but we lost so many plants early like we just don't have that many plants left honestly i don't know every year we kind of go through this where we're like oh we're not gonna have enough pumpkins and then it's usually fine but uh this year i actually think we're not gonna have enough pumpkins so yeah No pumpkins for you, freeloaders. Wow. Well, uh, I mean, they are, but... Uh, I mean, we can still have, like, a get-together and do hay rides and show people my tractor, you know? Hey, you want to see my tractor? I'll take you that, for a ride on my small I ain't taking track. anybody for a ride. It's too small. <laughs> we were talking about doing, like, maybe instead of, like, the big trailer, Zach, with the straw. Uh -huh. Just do, like, the trailer that we have at the farm with straw. Yeah. Find my, my new tratter. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Uh, I never know. I can't uh, wait to see it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen it in person. I mean, you saw the one over. I think maybe I'll yeah. pretty close to it. But, yeah. Yeah. So, it should be cool. 
but we'll see if we have the party or not this fall. Dish served. Wow. There you go. Well, yeah, it could be interesting. Isles. I don't know who this she is you're talking about, but uh, okay. Uh huh. That, that, that's a song. I know it is. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. So glad I'm keeping that story private. Just saying. Oh. I just, I just want to know what it's about. Well, because if I tell you all, it's going to turn into like BMW girl in like 2.0. You know. Oh. Oh, there, John. So. And probably left. You're not wrong. You I know. mean, you, you've seen TeamSpeak. I have, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful already, you're right, you're right. I will do no oh. such thing. Yeah, okay, Wait. Tony. Wait, I can't, Tony, Tony know about this story? Absolutely not, no. I can't, I can't, I can't say what other people will do, but I, I will not make fun of you, John. My home slice. I did say that, you're right. Hey, Nick. Huh. I know something you don't know. Wait, what do you know? <laughs> okay, Mister. Uh, we told. Uh, I told Team Speak. And don't remember it. And I tell Team Speak. I didn't tell yep. Team Speak the whole t the whole story. Yes, you did. Too. No baloney. You pretty much, uh, from my uh, from my idea of, you pretty much told everyone besides me. I'm pretty sure I just said that I had a conversation with somebody at Mod Pizza, and that was the extent of it. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. You tell me. Type yeah, what you they, know. Send me a message. What do you know, story. Troy? What do you know? Dang it. Did I tell you? <laughs> I think you're pulling my leg, bro. Oh, no. I ain't pulling your leg, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> He's just putting the pieces together. No, I, I know for a fact I didn't tell you all like everything. I know for a fact I didn't. You yeah, look, did. listen. You listen. tell us everything. I believe 90% of us in here in TeamSpeak is smart enough to put two and two together and make four. <laughs> <laughs> there was no phone numbers exchanged. Okay, let's put it that way. All right. You said that. Just throwing it out there. So it's you, know, you don't need to exchange phone numbers. You got Snapchat, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> you got Twitter. That is true. You look, you, you, you look like you're definitely hitting them up in the Facebook Messenger. Yeah, I'm a big Facebook Messenger guy. I don't even have a Facebook. I just got one question for you. Yeah. Why do you turn so red? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's kind of hot in here. Uh -huh. uh, Is that a heart shape. That's pizza? not. Why is it Snoop Dogg holding the. <laughs> that's what Snoop Dogg looks like. Is that Roblox Snoop Dogg? <laughs> what is he? What the heck? Why for so? <laughs> I would love to see that guy search history. Dude, and he's that on his on his work computer too. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what his work history is. Mickey, that is absolutely not a thing. Just so you know. Oh now it's Homer Simpson holding the same pizza. <laughs> hey hey John. Yo, what up, bro? I would. I, I'm just trying to help you out. You help me out sometimes. I would just tell you to shut up all your head. But I don't oh, know if you're I'm not to gonna tell the story. Don't worry. The hole's getting deeper and deeper. Cause you know, I thought like the whole BMW girl thing was like a very innocent story, and then it just like became you know eight months of content. <laughs> so like, this, you're telling us this story is not innocent. I don't think it is. The way he's hiding it. I didn't say that. Oh, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> yeah, like later. I didn't say that. So we're talking like five blushy faces <sighs> right now, aren't we? Zero blushy face emotes. Uh, involved. <laughs> Nick. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
god, you guys. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I okay. I need to shut up. I'm just okay. Oh, first time. Continue. I just reacted very well. So, Chad, how about that weather? Um, Stepped outside. A little warm, but kind of nice out. A little humid actually out today. Gonna rain tomorrow, Chant. I'm not gonna be able to mow tomorrow. First, first non-mow day at the farm in a while. You know. Sam. You want to come mow my yard? It needs mowed. Sure. All right, Tony. We got a mission for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> All right, lit. How many P how many Casey's can we stop at between here and Farmer Nick's house? Uh, I'm sure quite a bit. Nick, can you pay me in food? What kind of food do you want? Anything. <laughs> you got any dino nuggies? I don't have any dino nuggies. Then I'm not coming. If I can go to Walmart. No bless your face, anyone else just bless your face. Wow. <laughs> Leonard. Oh, man. All right, to the homestead. Don't trap this foot over here, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I can't believe you would do that. Cold and rainy, I have 62. You're doing the same thing, sir. Following in exactly your track, so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Niles, you know, I do have a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Ca -ca. <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, Chato, <laughs> what's up, man? Thanks for the bits. How's it going? If that don't get the ladies, I don't know what will. Ca -ca. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, Tony. Yeah. Are you good? All right, Leonard. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try to like bounce off that mailbox over there. Oh, no, we're good. We're we'll just go through it. Yeah, we're chilling, bro. Yeah. What is the context behind that? Why are you over here saying? Ta -ta! Hello. I don't know if there is context. There, there probably is, but it's probably just been long forgotten about. I'm gonna park it behind this shed here. I don't know where else to put these. Made someone lose it. Let's go. Yep, that's Tony. That's me. Also known as Zach. Also My known life as is kind of crazy. The guy that's gonna come help me at the farm tomorrow. I guess help, right? So yeah. impede progress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our times were a lot simpler when you weren't here. You know what? <laughs> What about when you weren't here, Tony? Damn. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't here. I can't save times for simpler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just kidding, Leonard. I love you. Fine. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> it's fine. You don't have to. <laughs> I just totally ruined your header cart for you. No, it's fine. You don't have to. What? Ruin the header cart? Because I already did. Yeah, I know. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I was trying to tail swing it and help. Oh, uh, man. No, oh, Niles, I don't know that there's context to that sound clip. I think it was just something stupid I said on the stream one day. And Carson was like, all right, bet. Sound, you know? I'm pretty sure that's all it was, to be honest. But I could be wrong. I don't know. They said, I, there's, I've streamed so many hours, like, it's hard to, you know, remember every Every cacaw? Every cacaw, yeah. Hard to remember them all, you know? Yeah. Like, even some of the, like, for the bits, like, there's some of those that I just, I don't remember where they came Caca. from. Like, I know I said it, but, like, I don't... What about tinkle in your pants? I don't remember what the context around that either. Uh, John, thanks for the bits again, man. I don't remember that. I remember the wet sock one. 
Because my aunt, is. my aunt had spilled water in the house. Oh, I do remember. And I took a break and I came back out here and I was like, I have a wet sock now. Like, by the way, it wouldn't let me harvest that corner. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what that one was from either. Making that sound clip. No. Yeah. Uh, John, I appreciate the bits. Again. That's not me screaming, by the way. In case you can't tell, that's not actually me. Oh, hey. <gasps> Guess what? Got a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Dream on, buddy. Um, this map has uh, soybean straw. Awesome. So we can drop straw and then we can <laughs> bail this. <laughs> no. Uh, we can bail this and sell it. We just got to get a baler and a way to move bales. But that's fine. That's lit. I was I was hoping this would work today, you know. And this is our contract to do it on, so we got it. That animation's kind of lit. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, right? I like it. Gotcha. Picasso. We do have the Vermeer pack, but I I don't want to make round bales. I'm going to be honest, Troy. I I, I don't like round bales. Oh, you're fun though. With that bail, do you have to stop every time too? Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it gets a little uh, real. Now we'll bring in one of our bailers that we have with the wings, so we don't have to rake, and it'll pick up the whole thing behind this combine. You know. I forgot this mess you on. Uh, I'm going to run east-west. I'm just freehanding right now. Or wait, am I running east-west? Yes. Or do you want to not cross the waterways to harvest Leonard? Oh, I don't care. Not east-west it is. Right now, I'm sure. freehanding. Friend, I know you put this in Discord a while ago. Did that, like, custom net wrap mod ever come out? Yeah. No. Oh. That swath out yet? Dang. Tough. A hard enough yeah, life. Tough, cr tough crowd today. Yep. I don't remember if this is fertilized once or twice, by the way. I think it's just once. But I could be wrong. Small bales and in cab. No. I'm good. I've done that. Back when we did the, uh, the heck was that? The for the for the Red Cross wasn't, it? or Very no tiny. kid, no kid hungry. That's what it was. Yeah, no kid hungry stuff. Spent way too much time in cab, but it was worth it. I'd do it again in the heartbeat. What month was that? Uh, February. Farming February. And we absolutely dominated that. Beat every other uh, streamer. So I like I like February. Good month. Why? My birthday. Oh god. The worst. Don't remind me. You don't remember your own child's birthday? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what about the little whip? Little whip? Uh, probably that came because we were played Fortnite. Not necessarily at that particular time, just like we, we had been playing Fortnite. And well, left had that dance first, and then I went and bought it a little whip dance, and it just was stuck in my head one day. Uh, lightning that's probably where that came from, to be honest. I don't remember what we were playing when it when I said it though, probably farm some. I think it was during the day stream, even if I do recall correctly. I could be wrong. Did a whip. Did a whip. Man, this cotton harvest is getting real. Yeah. There's a pizza production mod in testing. Oh. Go. What about the lotion burn? Uh, that comes from a story that I told. Um. I've told that story a couple times on stream, but it was uh, a fuel line came off of a fuel filter on our old van and spilled gas all over the street. And I got out to push us out of the street and, well, you know, yeah. 
I might have like fallen. I fell in the puddle, and then when I went to get up, I had like this oil and gas mix all over my skin, or all over my clothes, and then it like soaked through obviously and started like chemical burning me. It was great. And cab was hilarious and boring at the same time, right? Yeah. Two hundred. All right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So that's where that story's from. I've told it a couple times on stream, but yeah, it was like a chemical burn, which was really awkward because I ended up back at my grandma's condo that she had at the time, and uh, just like had to go take a shower, and then I didn't have any clothes to put on, so I just had to like chill until first time. Left work. Drove to our house, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from work, and then had to drive 45 minutes down to Grandma's to bring me clothes. It was awkward. Oh. Uh, professor, yes it is, sir. It sure is soybean straw. Looks uh, like what soybean straw would look like. I would imagine it would look like, right? Doesn't look terrible. No. Uh, Chinese reactor made that for that time. I had, uh, a burn and you had to bring me clothes down to grandma's. That's what we're talking about. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be back. So we'll catch you later. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I have wet songs. I have a wet keyboard. Hey, I couldn't see my cup of water. My microphone was in the way. Okay. Uh, professor, I think it's, uh, this map thing. Yeah. I don't know how many maps have it, but this one does. Yeah. So I don't, beyond that, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's a normal thing, right, Troy? I guess. Yeah. No, first time, yeah, you, uh, you had to leave, you left work. Because you had to pick mom and I up. Because you had the other van. We had the newer van. And it was broke down. So, like, we just were chilling at grandma's waiting for you. Yeah. Aiming for Wednesday if no more airs. Nice. Very nice. No problem, Professor. My first time, actually, I think, ever. That scene with soybean straw, we'll call it. It's really chaff. I don't know what you want to call it. I guess it's straw. I don't know. Rex, what's going on? How's it going? Welcome in. What'd you call it? It's more of like a fodder bale, right? Not so much straw bale. I call it fodder. Soybean like fodder. Alright? Yeah. I don't I don't know. Oh, we call it around here. Yeah. Like it's not a corn stalk like uh you know, straw bale. Corn stock fodder bale. Corn fodder. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, I'll tell you what this combine and uh, we can harvest for, for days. Before we need a uh, empty. Only at 56%. Although I haven't gone around the field once yet. Quite a ways around this field. Farmer Nick, how many uh, cotton harvesters? You got, you got two running, right? Got two running. Oh. You got another contract somewhere to do as well, right? Uh huh. You could run a harvester up to 31 and hit the H button if you guys want. I was going to say 31 is right next to us. Yeah, actually, here, I got you. Can I, uh. Ooh, I don't know if I can AI help for him, but I'm going to try. Let's see if I can get him to go to there at least. He can go to there. He'll make it. I can, I'll reset him and have him grab a beer and we'll hire him up here. Get him running. I guess we have trailer, right? We have trailer for bales? Yeah, we have trailer for the little round bales. Okay. Then we also have that big semi trailer, too. Yeah. Where's okay? Doesn't that do the round bales, too? Uh. I. I don't know. 
Does it? No, I think that's cotton only. It does cotton. It does square and round though. The the cover trailer, yeah. Okay. What I, was, I, thought. I wasn't actually sure. Oh, it does. Uh huh. Oh. So is the little red guy. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll be honest. Did not know it. Of course, cotton's not something we mess with all the times. So. Not uh, that surprising that I didn't know that. That's okay. Have I seen the new map on the mod hub? I which one are you talking about? Lightning. I glanced at the mod hub uh, last night. That's when I put the 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 one from the what's it called? We can collect the straw after the contract or during the contract. Fields are so big. I I don't haven't seen it now. Have not. I don't go in there and look at my dub too often, to be honest. Every once in a while I'm glance, but unless I'm like looking for something. I don't go in there and just look at stuff, especially maps. Hickory Valley. Interesting. I have to look at it sometime, but no, I haven't seen it as of right now. Not yet, anyway. These darn trees. I'm telling you, first thing I'd do is if we own this land, any of these fields on this map, cut down trees. No point in having trees in the middle of your farm field. It cuts down on your yield, takes your moisture. Makes the sprayer guy really angry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm with you, John. 100%. Yeah, tell your family that, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, we do have two cotton harvesters running currently, yes. Oh, here comes Troy. Mr. Troy. All right, cotton harvester, make it. Or, oh, you guys must hold it to keep going, huh? Very nice. Yes, we are doing uh, some cotton. The boys are working on 24 right now. We also have uh, 31. Uh, contract right now as well. So we're getting there. They are definitely getting there. Right, Sarge, I'm gonna stop here before I get into that tree line. Oh yeah. Spring Creek is one gig. Not surprising. Isn't that the 36x map? It's not surprising at all. Farm sim maps used to be a lot bigger, I feel like, in 19. Like, a gig was not a big deal. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Then there's going to catch me. I got to go search. All right, no problem. <laughs> got to go, got to go, got to go. It's going to get me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss the edge of the field too I'm not paying attention well I uh, hope you have some good uh, good modded equipment to help you on that giant map is you know wouldn't be bad if you had some good high speed and high capacity uh, equipment Guess I'm gonna make a long run up to 31. What's that? Homie was in 24, just driving circles. Oh no! Put him on a road. We'll try to cut him. All right, give me like two minutes. All right. It's all good. Ooh. Oh, that was must have been the truck that was. Or no, that was him. Okay. Troy's driving this way too. It looks like. So it's all good. We had it done. We can still pick up one of the big ones if you guys want to. I guess we would do that if we get uh, 12 for sure. 
Yeah, 12 for sure. Yeah, that is a monster. Yeah, 12 for sure. 12 for sure. Well, okay, chat, 12 for sure. Okay? For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. No, for sure. You know it, Tony. You know it. Not 50 50? Nah, bro. Show. Sure. Show yeah, for sure. Show sure, for sure. This is a big field, Leonard. It is. It is. And for a regular size map, this field, this map has big fields. I mean, when you look at the map, it's basically all fields, so. Yeah. Get it! Oh heck yeah, buddy. Left's, left's got a drag strip in the background now. Look out. First it was gunshots, nonsense. <laughs> oh my apologies, fireworks, fireworks. Fireworks, Zach. Come on, fireworks. They were. You saw them. Oh, and it made them cuss and everything. Great. <laughs> I remember that. Wait. Uh, PTSD from that situation. You still do? <laughs> oh man. Sorry. Couldn't laugh about it. I would hope you heard it fire. Yeah. Somebody be zoom zooming. Just like that too. Zoom zooming. Zoom zooming. Not just zooming. Zoom zooming. Oh yeah. Zoom zooming. Far sure. And no, the hired guy didn't work. Oh really? Really? Unfortunate. All right, what do we think about right? Uh, this looks good. Leonard, do you like my lands? I just guess. Fine. I don't think he likes it. You want to lead? I'll, I'll follow. No, no, no. It's it's perfectly fine. I'll follow. Fine. Talking about Christmas stuff. Oh, oh no. It's it's so early, Mrs. Professor, right? It's crazy. That's that's the worst thing. You gotta buy your Thanksgiving stuff in like January, your Halloween stuff in February. <laughs> right? It's honestly kinda sad. Fifteen per six holy cow, very small. Crazy. But yeah, that's true. I mean it's just it's earlier and earlier every year and it's like I'll need to chill. I'll need to chill a little bit. But you know, they gotta beat, you know, the other people. The Costco's gotta beat Sam's Club and you know, Walmart's gotta beat Target or whoever, you know, they all gotta beat each other to be the first one with uh with the equipment or with the stuff out there, you know. Just it's saying. honestly it's it's just annoying. Yeah. How they do it. I would agree. Agree. When I'm president, oh yeah, we make it federal law to not put out like, <laughs> Thanksgiving decorations before November first, and Christmas decorations for right. November day after things. Black Friday. You can have Black Friday. Oh no, you gotta have Christmas out a little sooner than that. No, Black Friday. Sounds like Leonard doesn't like Christmas. But, I have no problem with Christmas. But, but, but for those of us that decorate, we need to buy lights sooner. You know? Amazon, baby. They don't like buying lights on Amazon because they don't have... I don't know. It's kind of weird. They like a bunch of weird stuff on there. Anyway. Oh, I know. Oh, actually, fun fact. Speaking of Christmas lights. I heard... Through the grapevine. Great song, by the way. Um, heard through the grapevine that the other large display in town that, like, put up way more lights than me, probably, like, 50,000 more lights than me, allegedly, he has sold all of his Christmas decorations and will no longer be decorating for Christmas. Really? Yeah. Wow. A dedicated aisle for each holiday? That's a great idea, Bigger Small, actually. Big facts. So that means that I'm 
pretty sure I will have the biggest Christmas light display in our town this year. I think. Unless you know of a bigger one, Zach. Yeah, I'm going to put one up. All right. They, did you buy all his stuff? Yeah, you weren't supposed to know that. Bro, we could just decorate your whole court. Let's go, poggers, dude. Like six houses, right? Eight houses? Do them all. The only problem is I don't talk to my neighbors. I don't care. We're going to decorate their house. You saw a snowman that lights up that would look good in my yard. You have a link fart, Mrs. Professor? <laughs> I'm always looking, you know, always looking for stuff. I'm not going to be building anything this year. Uh, I was tempted to build some, like, Christmas trees out of, like, the same style of the, uh, like, the snowmen and the candy canes. But with buying a tractor, uh, I don't have time. When are you going to pull the trigger and just just take over Casey's room? Take over what? Casey's room. Uh, well, then the OMG sign wouldn't have the same meaning, you know? Unless I put it in the next guy's yard. <laughs> Which, you know. Never know. Uh, was he? No, it wasn't paid a visit. I didn't go beat the guy up, Professor. Jeez, no. Uh, welcome in. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. All of a sudden, I was like, I hear water. A little stream back here. Kind of caught me off guard there for a second. See if they have it online. Nice. All right, Mr. Professor. I will definitely check it out. But I, uh, I probably won't be doing too much, like, different from last year. Uh, this year because well I bought a tractor so yeah bro put that in the display and like have like they have like Santa like wrenching on it you know bro I'd have to have like a bubble to put over it to keep it out of the weather you know make it look like it's in a snow globe <gasps> it lit. Lit. I still think the idea of Santa like working on it that would be kind of funny yeah Or just, uh, wow, Vigorous Bull just sent me like this giant archway thing that's supposed to be Santa. That's interesting. I don't know where I would put that. It's 10 feet across by 8.8 .8 feet tall. Pretty good size. I don't know why I don't like what it looks like from the backside, though. It looks like, never mind. I don't like that, Vigorous Bull. It's weird. Kind of weird. But that's okay. I don't know about doing lands with these uh, point rows, you know what I'm saying? A lot of point rows in this field. The whole field is basically a point row. Just throwing it out there. That's all right. Back it up. Yeah, so probably going to be pretty close to uh, what I had last year. I'm not really planning on... I say that, and you know there's going to be something that catches my eye, right? I do have a different Santa Claus. Uh, I have a 20-foot tall Santa this year. Last year, it was only 12 feet, so... I could put the 12-footer over in Casey's yard, uh, Zach. Put the 12 foot on your roof. Yeah, it won't let me do anything on the roof. That is a no-go zone for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Put on Casey's roof. Maybe. I did it in the right spot. I can tie it up by the tree over there. No? Tree help hold it up. Are we getting some, uh, what's the heck? Leonard? What? Were you on GPS last pass? Yeah. What's your GPS? 51.18. Did you look at stream distances to know what's with your GPS? Huh? 
Did you look at stream to see what your GPS was? What do you mean? Uh, I hit auto width. Uh huh? I did too. What's your width? Exactly what you said it was. Uh, Mrs. Professor, those would look good in the yard. Uh, the only issue, which, you know, I can't really... Yeah. Is, uh... Squirrels like that. The stuff they're made out of, squirrels uh, chew on it. So, that would be the only issue. But I, they look good, yeah. It sounded like you waited for stream delay to know what size your head should be. Am I wrong? I, I'm probably wrong. I'm sorry. Do what? It was like you waited for stream delay to tell me what size your header was. Because it was showing it. No. No, like I, I mean, I reset my GPS and hit auto with again and like it didn't move me. Why'd you back up and get over? Because I, I did it when my GPS was still enabled. So oh. I hit, you know, it, like I turned right. Okay. I don't know why we have a skipper though. Hey, I don't know either, man. Okay. I guess we'll have to get like a, you know, oh, behind combine for the skipper or something, right? Something. All right, man. Tony, that's your job. Go hand pick those beans, okay? Sarge, just run off, please. Hey, it's a contract. It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll be in there in four or six business decades. I bet. There's a cotton harvester you can run, Tony. There's a baler, but we don't have a tractor for it right now. It will eventually. Not right now. Well, if you could use that uh, vineyard equipment. Gross. Gross. You've gone down a path of Christmas figures. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. I had a... What did I have something years ago, Mrs. Professor, that squirrels just... Oh, it was like a cow or a pig. Oh, the thing had a scarf, and the scarf ended up in the, up in a tree in a squirrel nest. Oh. Yeah. Get the gun. I guess, well, that's kind of cool. Pretty cool. He sent me a helicopter. Or Nate. All right, we're gonna finish this up down here. Hey. Okay? Uh, the man. It is great. Farming and stream and everything is great. How was your uh, football game? I hope your team won. You don't need to say what team, but did they win? Yes or no. That's all I'm curious about. I mind the bat ready to win. Are they? Got a quarter left. Go sports team. Go team. Oh goodness, chat. Time to get me some dinner. They dominated. Let's go. GG. That's, that's what I'm having. Dinner? Uh-huh. Alright. What are you having for dinner? Uh, food. I know what you're having, John. What is Trent having? Listen, last year... Um... Actually, a better idea later, huh? Put the straw over here where we can pick it up. I mean, so you I know. went on both sides of it, and with GPS, like, it was, I'm right where I was. Really? Maybe, it's, maybe you're the problem. Big facts. Oh, you know what? Was I on a... I might have been the problem. East West. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that moved at all. It's fine. Uh, last year, uh, what's his name? Chinese Rocket Debris just posted a picture or uh, uh, Amazon to basically Ralphie from Christmas Story. 
for like your Christmas display, right? Inflatable thing. But last year for Thanksgiving and all of Christmas, the, the house across the street and down one, you know Frank. You guys all know Frank. His wife put this thing in their front window. It was Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation, like holding the turkey with the Santa hat on, you know? But it was a cardboard cutout. And it was just in their front window. And like, there was a day where I seriously thought I was about to have to call 911 because they weren't home. And I'm like, there's somebody in their house. It was terrifying. But yeah. Portion. Like how, uh, on that TikTok video, somebody called a police. The, uh, a guy hanging from the roof. Yeah, have you seen that one where he's like, I developed this Christmas decoration? Yeah. That was funny. Like that would be you. Portion, that's unfortunate, man. Squirrels are awful. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I have a... Years ago, I haven't seen it lately, but it was an inflatable for the Christmas display. And it was a Santa that was repelling on a rope. And he would actually, like, go up and down on the rope. Like, occasionally he would like, climb the rope and go back up in a tree. And then, like, repel down. I was like, that would be kind of sick to have. I never... I should have. But I never bought that one. That would be cool. But, yeah. Yeah, the Christmas story uh, station wagon with the tree on top uh, first time. Yeah, that one's funny. See, I don't really have too much. Uh, I don't have too much yard space left for like inflatables and stuff. I'm telling you, the roof. I mean, I don't mind keeping like one extra inflatable just in case I have one like crap out, which has happened. Put it on your driveway. They park vehicles in my driveway, dog. You didn't put it on the roof. Of the vehicle? <laughs> no, of your house. Every night, first time comes home, I'm like, hang on, I gotta strap the inflatable to your roof to <laughs> put it in the display. That'd be lit. I'd like to make more uh, big arch just to go over the driveway. Right now, there's just the one down by the street. I think like six or eight of those would be cool, but putting those up would really suck. Although, I wouldn't have to be as aggressive with those, probably. Because right now, we have three quarter inch rebar that goes like three and a half feet in the ground. And that kind of sucks to do every year. Zach, you've been a part of that, haven't you? I have. It sucks. Were you there the year I hit myself in the head with the post pounder? I don't remember that. I don't really either. <laughs> See what I did there? I, I did. That was pretty funny. You know, the year I was here, the year I was there, you had like an electric. Those are for the small arches. Oh. But for the big arts, we use like a T post driver. I don't think I was. Oh man! That. And I I did the ultimate no no with the T post driver. I went up too high, and then when I went to come down, like it didn't work right, and I ended up just like taking the thing and smacking myself on the forehead with it. Oh god! Yeah, dude, I was like Holy Tweety Tweety Bird was flying it. around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, was it the bottom, or did you just hit it like with the side? It was the top of the T post driver. <laughs> what? Yeah, because I, like, I hit the top of the post instead of, like, going over the post. I just, like, hit the top of the post with, like, the bottom of the T-post driver, you know? Uh -huh. Post pounder, whatever you want to call it. And, like, just the natural motion of my arms, I ended up, like, pulling the thing towards me. And, just uh... Just, like, boom. Yeah. My, uh... Bro, it hurt. My brother did that with his fence post last year. Yeah? Yeah, uh, it resulted in nine staples. Oh, Luckily, I didn't hit that hard. I didn't break the skin. I was wearing a hat, too. But I, hit, I hit myself, like, up, you know, in the front. My hat had a dent in it. <laughs> it looked like well, Timmy, you know? Mind you, it's like, it's like a six foot or six, five foot fence post. So it's a tall fence post. Oh. And he just, and from what I heard of it, he, like, just started driving it. Okay, so, so you're way up in the air, yeah. You're way up in the air. There's a lot of distance for that thing to fall. Yep. That yeah, was, uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah, Tweety Bird, bro. Flying around my head. Not the first time. That one time I got into a, like a minivan. Yeah. Bro. Did it have candy? No. We had donuts, though. How, how'd you hurt yourself getting in a minivan? Uh, so like side of head met like top of door frame. Oh. And just whack. 
it was like the old whack, you know, and like the uh, the whole van kind of did like a, you know, like moved. Yeah, it hurt bad. I didn't really do anything the rest of that day. I sat at the farm in the lawn chair. I was like, I can't. I can't life right now. It was bad. It was very brutal. But yeah, it was a good time. For some reason, my one brother and I stopped on the way to the farm to pick up donuts. Which is really weird. But we did it. I think it was like a new donut place we wanted to try or something. And, uh, yeah. Thought I'd been shot or something. It was awful. Well. Sarge, you like that, uh, truck and trailer combo? Like, do they work Not well together? Bad. They work? Yeah, it works pretty well. Alright. That is good. That's I didn't it. think I was going to keep up with you guys on corn, but... Oh. Yep. Who is that? Who that is? I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. There's somebody that was outside my house. Probably a salesman, dude. He's holding a clipboard. <laughs> like, standing in my front yard at 450. Go there for your extended vehicle warranty. No, it's like Zach, you can probably attest to this. It's like uh pest control season around here. Goes with us? No. There's this dude that rides a Segway around and sells like pest control. Really? Yeah. yeah. We just I'm not home, so I don't really see it. Oh, it's true. Yeah. We just ignore him, we don't answer the door. First time Chinese Rock would be really about the rabbit poo in our front yard, aren't you? <laughs> okay. No, put up, sign, uh, put up a sign, no rabbit poo. Yeah. No, we just we just don't answer the door unless we know who it is. And well, I have a camera so I can tell who it is before we open the door, you know? Yes, yeah, saying. Or not a camera. Multiple cameras. Do I sound like a crazy person when I talk about all the cameras I have at my house? Or do I just sound like somebody who's smart and wants to keep an eye on his house? Yeah, both. Both? Okay. I think you're just prepared. I am. For whenever Tony comes. <laughs> Bro, if I go to John's house, like, you bet I'm like, I'm honking the horn like, Johnny! Safety first. There you go, the man. Yeah, no, Chad, he is actually in Big Flags. I'm hitting the lights. Yeah. Remember the one time I drove down your street and, like, just turned my lights on and off? And then I sent you, like, the clip from the camera? <laughs> 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 or, like, the time you, like, were in my backyard and I sent you the clip from my camera of you in the backyard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or the time I was looking at your Christmas lights and you sent me a picture of me in my car? <laughs> <laughs> the best part is you weren't alone. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I felt like such a G that day because I was, I was like, look, look what I can do. I called you. I was like, hey, it's time for the show. All right, all right, for sure, for sure. You're like, all right, hold on, I got this. But, old man, wow. No, absolutely not, sir. Remind me never to take a shower in your house. Jeffrey. That's yeah. not a thing. Don't worry. Wait, hold on. You only have one shower in your house, right? Yeah. You're, you That's... shower in that shower. <laughs> It's not a thing. Don't worry. All right, there. It's not big, brother. Absolutely not. No. Uh, let's see. I do have a couple cameras in the house, but most of them point out out windows. There's for reasons that I'm not getting into. There is one right inside my front door that's pointing at the door. Um. The other ones that are in my house are. Uh, in need of charging so like they're not even on so yeah but no otherwise my cameras are all actually there's a camera in here 
to keep an eye on this room yesterday while I wasn't here. Oh. And then last night I like, I was chilling out here for a while and I, I like, I got up or something. I don't remember. Maybe I just like sat up in my chair and I get an alert on my phone and it's a video of me sitting up in my chair and I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of creepy. So it's facing a wall now. <laughs> So, just so y'all know. Uh, for the record, chat, I have just ordered some dinner, so I'll be taking a break in a little while. Uh, won't be here for probably half an hour or so, but... Just uh, keeping y'all up to date on what's going on, you know what I'm saying? That looks good. So, yeah. Not no, no, pizza, though. The, no. the more and more you talk about McDonald's, the more and more I want McDonald's. Wait, what, Tony? I said, like, the, how much we talked about McDonald's this afternoon? I kind of want McDonald's. I just ordered McDonald's. <laughs> it's been my go-to here lately on uh, Saturdays, though, because it's, like, not super expensive, and it's usually pretty fast, and it's something I can eat really fast to get back out here, you know? Like, pizza's a bit more of a commitment, you know? So, like, I like to watch YouTube when I eat. Do you do that, like, when you... Like between like during stream, or you just like uh, no, nah, I chill in the living room and uh, watch Wheel of Fortune usually. So, nice. It's whatever my aunt has on. I don't know. I just sit and won't like eat. Uh, what Not if Dad wants to play some uh, farm sim? I was with Dad all day yesterday, so it wouldn't have been him out here. It was we were at a farm show yesterday. Uh, Dad just, doesn't touch my computers. So. What? Good to see you're enjoying the finer things in life. Farm shows and McDonald's, yeah. I was going to talk about Wheel of Fortune, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wheel. Oh. Don't even get me tilted, bro. There was this guy a couple weeks ago. Idiot. And he kept, listen, he had the four things on the wheel, four spots in a row on the wheel were like uh, bankrupt, some money, lose your turn, and a free spin. Yeah. All right. And Buddy kept hitting either free spin or like the money, and it was like $600. Okay. But he, like, almost hit bankrupt and lose your turn, like, a bunch, right? Okay. It was, like, six spins in a row. And he kept doing this. And I'm like, bro, either spin harder or spin, like, less aggressive. Get oh, yourself have, get yourself to out. a different point of the wheel, you know? And he kept doing the same thing. It infuriated me. I was yelling at the TV. <laughs> like, I was Damn. that guy. I, it's like I was watching a football game, you know? Like, I'm over there screaming and, like, spilling my fries, you know? That's funny. I was angry at this. Like, actually angry. I was tilted. I was. I was, I was tilted at this dude playing Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and then guess what? He ended up hitting bankrupt. He had it almost solved, and he, and he bankrupt. Idiot. Just throwing it out there, chat. What an idiot. Anyways, that's, that's what I do. I go get tilted at Wheel of Fortune on my dinner break. Uh, how many other people can say that, huh? Probably not that many. Hey, those oranges on that truck and trailer totally don't match, do they? Not at all. I totally thought that was the same orange. Not even for a second. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, Tony, you ever get tilted at Wheel of Fortune? Um, kind of fun. No. Kind of fun. I don't know. I like watching YouTube because we got like one of those like smart TVs now. Yeah. But like that's mom's TV, so oh. like you know I don't get to watch too much. But you put like my video on there about my tractor, right? Yeah. You did not. You couldn't find the Santa Repelling? I don't think they make it anymore. It's, this is years ago. Years ago, Vegas Bull. It was cool, though. But I always figured, like, oh, it has mechanical. Like, it's going to break. So I just never, like, spent the money on it, you know? Plus, then I got to, like, hang it up in a tree somehow. And, uh... No, I'm not... The biggest fan of ladders, so... Not that I, I mean, I don't mind ladders, but like, you know, the whole thing. It's a whole thing, you know? All right.
You sent me a Santa climbing a ladder? Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, that's a big one. I've never seen one that climbs, like, up to the house. I've seen little ones for, like, trees. That's ten and a half feet tall. Bro! That's kind of sick. Ten and a half feet tall. I'm here for that. I am here for that. And my... Okay. Y'all send me random, uh, like, eBay stuff sometimes. Figure Spool's really good about that. The stuff that, like, eBay's recommending to me on this eBay page is so weird. I mean, I guess it's not that weird. It's all stuff that, like, makes sense, but... Okay, Farmer Nick, all good. So there's like a, you know, Alice Chalmers tractor, a John Deere tractor, a quarter push machine. You want a quarter push machine? Bro, Tony, I want one so bad. Like the thing in like, like in arcades? Wouldn't that be like fun the, to just in sit the gas and like, yes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Well, you just win your own money back? I mean, it's not about the money. It's just about the, the, the experience, you know? The experience. Just like, can you imagine streaming that? And just like, you no. Know? Well, that would be pretty fun. Bro, like, every bit gets you a quarter, you know? <laughs> that would be like real game. Never mind. That's like gambling. We wouldn't do that. Maybe redeem channel points for like more quarters or something. I don't know. There's actually people that make them. They make their own. Yeah, because all you need is, like, some kind of electric motor that spins, like, kind of slow. You know? Okay. I had to really look at the picture of the dude that claimed my order. Kind of looks like somebody you'd find in prison. No offense. No offense to the prison community. It's listening right now. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> well, you're off in the county jail now. <laughs> Ah oh, man, that was their only source of entertainment. Heard you had a really good community out there. Yeah, man, they really have my back, you know. Uh, I know a, uh, I, I I know, but I don't know a uh, deputy at the at the jail. Guy really? that works at the jail, correction all Uh huh. I do too. I wouldn't be one. No. No, no, no. Don't be on the next weekend. All right, Mickey, we'll catch you, man. Have a good time. Have a good one, Mickey. We'll catch you later, bro. And this this harvest is like real, a real field. Oh, I know. Glad we have these big combines. Imagine doing this with, like, you know, smaller companies. We should probably get that honeybee head on here, right? 9,000 foot honeybee. The old 9,000 footer. Yeah, 9,000, Tony. Imagine the horsepower and threshing capability it would think for oh. all of them. Yeah. It was funny over there yesterday, Tony, like all these tractors went in front of us, right? Okay. And I look at dad and I go, Did they just plow like a hundred feet? And he's like, yeah, pretty much. Cause it's like every time they go, you just drive and drive and drive. And then you look back and you're like, we just made it all the way across the field. Crazy. Of course we're talking, you know, big plow. Like it wasn't a, you know, four bottom plow or anything. Five bottom plow. No, we're talking like 18, 20 bottom plows. You know? Big plows. Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. I wondered, and maybe we should try to ask somebody, like, do they keep those plows indoors? Like, do they have enough shed space that they can store all those? I know a bunch of those are, like, Tom Renners. Did Tom Renner have his 8020 out with, like, the mounted plow he has on that? Yes. Yes. We He wasn't running it, but some other guy was. Yeah. We did see it plow a couple passes. Yeah, I don't know if I got a picture of it, but yeah, we did. 
But he did see that. And that was magical when he gets to the end of the pass and just lifts the entire plow out of the ground with the How three point. High that thing goes. Oh yeah. Oops. And then when that tractor's hitting like burrows and stuff, that plow is just like moving six feet up and down. Really? Like whoa. Oh yeah. It was crazy. Whoever thought that was a good idea to mount what is it, like a twelve bottom plow, right? I have no idea how big it is, but yeah. Big. Yeah. Yep. That was definitely there. Yeah, it was, I mean, I, mean, I kind of, on the way out, Dad and I were, like, driving back through, like, his grain setup. Like, we just drove over the pit. Uh-huh. Because it was, like, whatever. It was just there, open. Nobody cared what you did. And we drove where they had, like, the food which was in like a lean to of this other shed and because you don't realize but his museum actually has a bridge that goes to it for like a like pedestrian bridge huh because there's a huge huge drainage ditch that goes through the center of his farm which is it's kind of weird but like it comes there's a huge like culvert underneath the road and then it runs like between the sheds at his farm and so between the two sheds there's a bridge uh, so to get into the muse museum, they wanted you to like walk from the one shed and then walk across the bridge. Uh, we just like went around on a golf cart or on our side by side and walked in the shed on the other side to get in the museum. But All right. we didn't All go right. in the one shed and I'm kind of disappointed we didn't. There was a bunch of stuff in there too, so. Anyway. This is that big long shed right in the smack dab middle of the farm? Uh, it's the shed closest to the grain setup. I'm assuming you're looking at it on Google right now. Yeah. Yeah, the one closest to the grain setup is the one that had the food. And then across that drainage ditch is the music. I, I would gotcha. be to the to the east, I believe. Yeah. And then if you've seen the YouTube videos where he has like his uh place in there for like uh his horses. Yeah. Yeah, he like had he had that closed up. Like his meeting room and stuff? His meeting room and where the horses, uh, yeah, whatever. He's got a couple couple uh, stalls in there, horses. That'd be crazy to go over there. That was all closed off. But the end of that shed has giant, really nice, like, big windows in it and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And then the big shed on the east side of the farm, I believe it. No. The west? The other big shed. Yeah, the west uh -huh. side. That's where they had, like, the they called it the She Shed. Yeah. And they had, like, some crafts and stuff in there for sale. And then I think half of that is where they had, like, the tables and chairs or chairs set up for, like, the speaker as well. Oh, they had a speaker. And several speakers, yeah. Not while we were there, but, like, to start out each day, they would start with, like, somebody to come out and speak about farming right. and stuff. Does Pretty he cool. keep all of his equipment there? He farms with uh, I think so, and then there's another farm uh, across the road, and that would be uh, west a little bit. Okay. And that's where they had vendor parking and uh, vendor camping set up, so you could bring your camper and like go camp. So across camp, the road. Camper guy. Yeah, I think there's a huge shed over there, if I'm not mistaken. We go west. Just a little bit. Yeah. You're making me pull it up. I ain't seen oh, yeah. Uh, where's that at? There's Scott Air Force Base, so it's right here. Well, maybe that's not a big shed, then. There's a shed there. But it doesn't look that big. But that's where, the, unless this picture's old, I don't know. But anyway, they had, they had stuff set up across the road there, so. It was uh, very interesting. I had quite the setup there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I didn't, I, I just thought they didn't farm that many acres. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think they farm quite a bit. I could be wrong, but I don't know. That big shed, that is a huge shed. I didn't realize that thing had solar panels on it. Looks like. I guess we never, I never paid attention to that. But yeah, anyway, it's yeah, it's it's quite the farm yard, honestly. Like I heard you talk about this earlier, how was that limestone crusher? Uh, it's loud and dusty. 
we didn't actually see it running. I've I've seen it run before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same one that's been over at uh, Pinkville before. And uh, yeah, it's very loud and very dusty. So. I guess it's that plow field, like all that stuff south of the farm. Uh, yeah. I have to pull it back up. <laughs> Sorry. Fine. Because they had like fields that were corn that were then being plowed too. So. Um, where's the Air Force Base? I'm not like typing this in. Hang on. I gotta get back on GPS, Tony. It's all good. I got nothing but time. I'm trying to trying to farm here, you know. Cool. Right here somewhere, isn't it? I'm lost now on Google. What are you I'm trying to do? Trying to find that farm back I was just looking at, and I'm lost. Tony's like distracting me here with looking at stuff. Yeah, it's all Tony's fault. Yeah. It's all Tony's fault. You're right. I can't find it back, Tony. Is that bad? Tony, we need a leak. No, 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 no. no. The Air Force Base should be like right. Oh, there's the. Okay, hang on. I found it back. You just got to look for Scott Air Force Base, you see. Oh, that's like right. right. Yeah, that's how close they are. That's why I was like, I don't know about flying the drone there. Uh, so, Tony, okay, so the road that goes down next to the farm? Yes. See how there's, like, uh, that little farm or little homestead there on the left? Yeah, down a little bit. Okay, so, like, the, the fields they were in were to the right of that? Right across the road. Yeah. Uh, but kind of see how there's, like, a grass line? There's actually a ditch there. Yeah. So it was everything, like cutoff. everything north of that ditch all the way to the wood line? And then follow the wood line kind of back in where it comes back in right at the tag for 100 years of horsepower. Yeah. It was like everything south of that, then, like in that huge chunk there. Allegedly 250 acres, but I'm thinking that's like parking and everything. Is that like, what's at that corner there? Like, is that a fenced in pack? Is that fenced in? Pasture, yeah. Yeah, they had a bunch of pastures all around that farm. All that up there by the farm is pasture. He I guess that's all for the horses. I think so, yeah. He he still had I bet there was ten horses there. That are his that he raises. He used to raise a bunch of uh draft horses and he would sell them. For like, you know, plowing and stuff. I don't think he does too much of that anymore. But yeah. So they actually had a forage harvester sitting out there and where they like a bunch of the plow fields and stuff, they actually like forage harvest, like chaff that corn. And I don't know where they like took it because we didn't see like bunkers or silos that looked like they were in working order. Cause the silos what that those, were uh, harvest stores on the farm there. Yeah. Yeah. They had big holes in the bottom. <laughs> like somebody had gone at it with a sledgehammer, like they wanted it to fall down. Oh, yeah. So, no, that was... the one on Google Maps, you can definitely tell it didn't have a roof. The other yeah, one there's one without a roof. The one that does have a roof has a big hole in the bottom. So, that's not going to be used for anything. Obviously. That's, that's crazy, like, how close that is to, like, town. Yeah, they're not far out of town at all. I mean, there's... Yeah. yeah. So, we went... We had to go east... Or, sorry, west out of there. Because we were parked across the street, but they had the road where you couldn't, like, cross it to make a left. So we went right, which would have been back east. Sorry, west. And I think we drove like three miles before we like made a right turn. And then there was all kinds of like town there. So it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. There will we'll be a like. here. Holy cow, Vegas Bowl. Do it. Uh, it's just crazy they only do it twice or like every I two think years. they do it every other year, yeah. I'm telling you, it's like Pink Mayville is cool, but like this is so much more like uh, field demo. Uh huh. You know, like Pink Mayville, okay, yeah, you got like the plow fields, but like this is a lot more than just like Pink Mayville where it's just plowing. So, yeah. 
like wonder, old combines and old corn pickers. And, I wonder why I want to do it like not every year. Maybe it's just too much for me. Well, I think what they used to do is they used to do it. What's the the show called? Trent that goes from Iowa to, to uh, you know that That's one. That's what I was thinking. Progress show. Yeah, so they would do it the year it's in Iowa. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So. Dang. Probably only do it every two years just to get the crop rotations on the ground. Now yeah, there's that too. You're not having to spend a whole lot of money pumping corn and uh, nitrogen for corn. Well, you know what's funny? They planted uh, 36 inch row corn too. So they must have some old planter they can they drag out there to plant the, old, the wide corn. I'm sure some one guy somewhere does that they use. Yeah. Uh, when's oh, your viewers like it? Yeah, they were a lot of a lot of teams there plowing actually, but I don't think it'll be next year. Two years. Got another video for uh, for time. <laughs> Maybe there were a lot of there were a lot of teams, a lot of Maybe horses. Like another Bell View video. There you go. I think his videos like, up to like eighteen million. Like what were you talking about? It sounds like this just put Pinkley to shame. It's a different show though. There's not row after row after row of tractors. I mean, there is a lot of tractors up front. But that's all like Tom's collection. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a different type of show. It's more field demo. Yeah. Yes. It does. That show does switch every other year. But what I'm saying is, when the, that shows in Iowa, then this show happens, I believe. So. That'd be cool to go to that farm progress show too. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I know so much about farming, even though I'm not a farmer. Why is that crazy? I mean, Tony, it's gonna be coming to Illinois next year. How far is that? Where is that? About an hour for me, Tony. Right about the same. Night having double bigger bull? No. Can we just make night not be a thing. Is that something we can do? Yeah, we need a day mode only mod. For snow runner, a hundred percent. Yes. One thousand well, percent. Well over two hours, it's a little bit of a hike. Maybe I was a farmer in a past life. I grew up around a farm. My dad was a farmer, my grandpa was a farmer, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Our whole family's farmers. Why wouldn't I know about farming? I mean I grew I grew up riding in a combine and on a tractor fender and yeah. Oh. Uh, Matt, happy birthday tomorrow, man. Uh, happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. I missed the spot? No, I didn't. It's a figment of your imagination. Yeah. All right, chat, my dinner is uh, here. So. It is the glorious dinner break time, chat. Sure. Yeah, like, everybody in the family on dad's side was farmers, so, like, why wouldn't I know about farming? It's in my blood, you know? Just saying. It just didn't work out that I was able to become a farmer, you know? So, yeah. Have a bunch of settings that you can change? Okay. Man, I hope it has daytime all the time because I would 1,000% check that setting. You know? 1,000%. I'm in it. I'm here for it. Uh, you can download this map from the Mod Hub. It's called Stone Valley, Illinois. Yes. We were, we were not fired. All right, TS, I will catch you guys when I get back. Uh, hear me. All right. All right, chat. Uh, Chinese Rocket Debris, thanks for that gift sub. Appreciate it. Chat, uh, it is my dinner time. You guys, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy some clips. If you guys head out during this, I totally understand. Just know that I'll be back in about 20 minutes. And I'll be here till, you know, 10 o'clock tonight. So we'll have plenty of farming yet to come tonight and uh, all that good stuff. So I will see you all in a few, about 20 minutes usually. Anyway, BRB.